So I, I want to talk not just about this book, but your books. Because I, I like, like many others, I've read many of your books. Not them all, but many. And, and it, uh, Stuart and I were involved with uh, another organization 30 years ago called the Santa Fe Institute, which was oh, about yeah. studying complexity. And complexity seems to be an underlying theme through most of your, not, or many, I won't say most, but the ones I've read. Uh, for example, the recent one prior to this was a book called Aurora about mm. a starship. And things don't go so well. The mm. ecosystems don't ultimately function particularly well. The poli political systems begin to break down the social systems, the economic systems. All these things that depend upon complex organic functions, self-organizing from the bottom up, as opposed to human beings figuring them out and making them work. You seem to have a deep suspicion of our ability to understand and manage complexity. Ooh, well, we, 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 we do pretty well in some ways, and then it's too complex to do really well. I, you know, I, I'm an English major and I write novels. And the reason I write science fiction novels is because I think those make the best novels today, because we're in a science fiction novel, and so it's the best realism. <laughs> and so I... Right on! I, that was good. That's a keeper. We're yeah. all in a science fiction novel. Well, like we that. are, and we're co-authoring it together, and it's, it's, a, it's a wild one. It, in fact, it's getting weirder and weirder yes. Yes. every year, which is kind of beautiful and kind of terrifying. Hunter Thompson did have it right, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, um, <laughs> I, but I, I guess what I'm saying is that I, when you try to write a novel, the, the cool thing about science fiction is not only is it the best realism of our time, but it also goes beyond the, the domestic realist novel of the mid 20th century, a kind of imitation high modernism, would say that it's always about individuals, it's all about characters, and it has to be stuff that people would really do, like on a college campus or on an adventure somewhere. This version of, of um, the novel was individual and, and individual. Story of a divorce, story of a person with Tourette syndrome, on and on it goes. Well, the 19th century novel was about individual and individual and individual and society, uh, history. And that's why the big 19th century novels still appeal to us, and that's what this... Uh, uh, imitation modernism lost. And so science fiction not only gets us back to individual, individual, individual society, individual and history, but also individual and planet. And this is something that's maybe a little bit new to literature, that, that the novel would also include the relationship between people, history, and planet, uh, civilization and planet, and civilization as an ecological uh, balancing act. So this is good. This is, it makes for new novels. It makes for big novels uh, and long novels. <laughs> uh, and so complexity comes into it just as part of the novel becoming um, back, going back to its 19th century um, uh, sense of scale. The, the, and, and so I love that part of what science fiction gives me. Mm -hmm.